Hi sir. Uh, so hi everyone. Uh, Hello. So here Dr. Arul here. So I'm the medical director at Search Test, and uh, here we have today Dr. Shwin Smith Patel, uh, rank 90 in uh, recently completed NEET SS 2023. So hi sir, how are you? How are you are uh, mm. reacting to your rank? Yes, sir. So I'm satisfied with my preparation and the result. Okay. So basic introduction about you would be great, sir. Uh, where are you from? Uh, how where did you do your MBA and thing? Uh, sure, sir. I'm Smith uh, from the, I have done my MBBS and MD uh, from the BJ Medical College, Ahmedabad. And I just completed uh, my MD, uh, MD final year examination in this June. And so I, this, is, this was my first attempt uh, for the NEET SS. Oh, great. So, uh, so when did you start uh, NEET SS preparation as a whole? I know that uh, you would have been uh, in the final, year, final exam preparation. Yes. And then when did you shift gears to uh, NEET, uh, NEET SS actually? Uh, sure, sir. Uh, for the NEET SS exam, I started the preparation in the second year. Uh, I just read, uh, used to read Harrison, uh, Harrison and then apply whatever I have read in the routine day-to-day -day life and clinical work. Uh, so I, it, it was my habit to integrate knowledge from Harrison into the uh, into the work, and I used to discuss it, uh, discuss guidelines and etc. topics with my consultants and my colleagues. And uh, for the pro proper preparation, I start for NEET SS. I started in the final MBBA. Uh, final uh, um, final year when I started following MCQs and watching uh, watching the video uh, videos and uh, I used uh, started using first steps after completing my uh, MBA exam which was held in June. Great, sir. So how uh, you have been subscribed to uh, yes. Search Test Harrison Hundred Days, uh, right? Uh, uh, yes, sir. So how did you find it? And any other uh, things that have been from her search that, that uh, you have subscribed that you really liked your review uh, on sure. uh, hands in 100 days. Uh, sure, so I started watching videos for 100 days Harrison from after completing my MBA exam uh, so around in the July. Uh, so I used to watch your daily two to two to three videos so which was uh, which was uploaded. Uh, I sometimes I cannot uh, I cannot uh, test the live videos because of my uh, schedule. But uh, so the 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 best thing I like was that videos were more like a discussion, not a one-way teaching. So we can uh, so it is better if you interact with the in the live session. So I think uh, the the interaction and the discussion is more helpful than the one-way teaching. And the best thing I like was uh, like uh, it was a uh, teaching from the uh, MCQ points, so not uh, just the theory based, which of which we already know from the uh, topics of uh, Harrison. And the videos were from the MCQ MCQ based teaching, so it was uh, helpful to strengthen the concepts and uh, some points which I have missed during the, my preparation. Great. Okay. So uh, how how did you find the exam? Uh, where, how was the question pattern? Were you expecting uh, what are the percentage of questions with that were actually a clinically uh, clinical scenarios or uh, where the question fact uh, fact based uh, so most of the questions were uh, based on the clinical scenario so i i found that uh, the uh, which i have uh, I have applied my clinical. I have applied uh, the whatever whatever I have read in day-to-day -day clinical life, uh, which was more helpful than the than the routine Harrison reading. So I thought that uh, applying knowledge is uh, more helpful because uh, whatever we have read the guidelines, we can forget. But if we apply to the uh, apply to the patient, so we can easily remember those guidelines for any clinical scenario. And I have found that almost uh, uh, 50 to 60 percent questions were uh, were from uh, whatever we are applying in the uh, clinical practice. Uh, so yeah. only a few questions were only a few questions were fact based questions. Uh, so it's okay to so so we should I think we should integrate whatever we have read uh, in routine life. Um, so you are saying that more of okay. clinical knowledge is important more so clinical how, knowledge how did, you did, uh, like, uh, did you get the chance to read uh, the complete horizon uh, for exams or your final exams Oh, I tried to read uh, almost a uh, Harrison, almost a uh, complete Harrison, but a uh, few topics were left like uh, infectious disease uh, parties were very much uh, big and uh, we uh, even cannot, uh, and it is uh, less yield compared to the, uh, compared to the bulk it given in the Harrison. So we should uh, yes, focus on the which topics are important and uh, okay. so, so that's why. Yeah, uh, we at Search Test, uh, we have decoded Harrison and put it into uh, yes, multiple yes. Uh, chapters and uh, uh, provided as notes. So, uh, 
ideally uh, when do you think that uh, the preparation should, should start from your perspective since uh, you are among the toppers and uh, your if you are advising in your any of your juniors uh, yeah. when do you advise them to start preparing uh, like seriously for neat ss for the next uh, edition uh, i would like to advise uh, the for the for example for the first year student they should uh, should focus on the clinical skills and communication rather than the uh, uh, clinical knowledge and from the second year just start uh, uh, just start using the knowledge book from whatever you have read and discuss it uh, with your colleagues and consultants and for uh, and only for uh, preparing the exam it i think it should be started uh, from the final year and after uh, final year and after completing the after completing md exam we should focus only and only on mcq so on mcq points oh, great so what are your uh, aspirants and uh, what are your aspirations and what are your uh, specialty that you are aiming for uh, i am thinking to pursue for a medical oncology oh great uh, any specific reason uh, any, anyone such uh, any yeah. such uh, incidents or yes, your handles Uh, yes sir i am thinking it is a very emerging branch and uh, it is not uh, just uh, um, it is the branch which uh, which i can uh, which i can in, uh, means uh, uh, i can change the uh, people's life from from that uh, branch and, uh, and and i for no as it is an emerging branch uh, i so uh, we have should we should get updated uh, from uh, each point of aspect uh, from a medical oncology and it is not only it is also helpful to uh, helpful to, to the people and it is not uh, just uh, treating the patient it also includes uh, uh, healing the patient with uh, emotionally and spiritually etc so i just like that point understood uh, great here that so uh, moving on uh, are, are you planning to give uh, nss or uh, you are planning to take uh, take up a neat ss uh, no, college no. itself So I'm just, uh, take, I'm just uh, taking. I'm just thinking to take uh, admission via NEET in uh, probably in Tata. Okay, great. That is that sounds really good and uh, fantastic college. So um, moving uh, uh, moving on. So we have uh, uh, had a like you have been associated with such as for like, uh, nearly a, a couple of months, months, more than couple of months, and. Uh, uh any uh, any specific uh, uh, teachers that uh, you like to follow or uh, you uh, they were very good at uh, teaching that might uh, uh, help them or uh, give uh, like encourage them to I, do more uh, i found every teacher was excellent in the, in their uh, field so it's not specific. everyone was excellent in their teaching and everyone has a unique method of teaching so it was actually very helpful and uh, and the mcq uh, from the first shift bank was also uh, i found it very useful because it's not just based on the uh, based on the facts it's also based on the concepts of uh, medicine so it's not just uh, only help uh, it's not only to read harrison it, it is actually uh, actually uh, understand the harrison so the mcq were not uh, also both combination of facts and the uh, basic concepts of harrison so i found the uh, q bank and the videos everything was helpful oh, very good so uh, uh, and uh, any final messages for message for your juniors that uh, you want to give it out uh, i just want to say this was not the, this is not the first exam or not the last exam you are going to uh, have so just, uh, just prepare your fully and uh, don't get disappointed if you are not get the result or whatever you are expected so and it uh, just uh, try to uh, just try to apply knowledge and uh, discuss it with your uh, colleagues i think it is it will help uh, to remember for you or for a long time yeah very good message and uh, uh, all the best congratulations on cracking on the first uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. and getting your dream branch and uh, thank you for this interview and uh, i think uh, many of sure. the juniors will be very uh, anxious to hear it so all the best thank you uh, thank, thank you. you and i'm also very grateful i'm also very grateful for the whole team yeah thank you sir thank you thanks a lot Thank you.